Hello and welcome back to my studio. I hope you're well. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you very much. And uh, big hearts to my original Jenny. You know who you are. Today it's a little bit different. I'm not painting. I want to talk about this painting though. It had me a little bit stuck and I thought it would be appropriate to talk about when you're stuck in, in your painting. Most people seem to get stuck at the starting point when you've got a big white canvas in front of you and that can be quite daunting. Luckily I've found I uh, don't have that problem. Um, I always have in my mind what I'm going to do before I approach the canvas. One way to get around to not have that is to keep a visual diary. I tend to not keep a visual diary. My diary is more an art reference uh, colours that I like, images that I like and I respond from them and I know what I'm doing when I approach the canvas. Luckily. This, this canvas however had me a little bit stumped because the, the times that I get stuck is when I think the painting is going really really well. Uh, perhaps it's the best, I feel like it's the best I've ever done and that then stumps me, stalls me, panic about what if the next brush stroke ruins the whole thing and so that, that really can freeze me up and perhaps you, you find that too. So I'll show you what this painting was based on. Generally I paint uh, from imagination but this time I this this teapot is a real pot and I'll show you that so this piece was based on this teapot that was gifted to me a few years ago and it's just lovely the background came together quite well I knew I was going to use red the red and blue and white and I knew I was going to base it on this this teapot and one thing that I'd like to talk about that happened when I was doing this, as this teapot was coming together and it was working really well and I was very, very excited, but there was also this voice in my head that was like, you can't do this, this is going to be ruined, you aren't good enough to do this. And it's surprising how loud that voice can be, well I was going to say creatively, but anywhere really. And so my message today is, shut that voice off. You can do it. You are good enough. It can be achieved. If it's not in this piece, it's in the next piece or the one after. Because each, each piece that you do gets you closer to, to that. But it was a real struggle. Because, uh, you know, this is hours in the making. And that voice was there for hours. And it kept turning out well and I kept saying no look I can <laughs> and the voice was still there oh but you won't be able to keep going so you've got to quieten that that critic critic is great in assessing sitting back what's working what's not but that negative critic of the can't do you've got to shut it off uh, so yeah then um, so I didn't have the flowers in I had the tablecloth really well this pot came in well. I was just loving how these papers and the uh, little blossoms were moving. And then I was like, what flowers? I knew I was going to put flowers in. What flowers are going in? And oh, I'm going to ruin it if I do any more. But of course it couldn't be a complete painting without a bunch of flowers in the pot. So I was stumped for a long time and my advice is you've just got to press on. You've got to be prepared to ruin work by, by finishing it, by, by putting on another brush stroke. You've got to be really brave <laughs> as a creative and you've got to believe that if you do something that ruins it in your mind, you can paint it again, you can create it again and you can fix it. Paint particularly, you can always paint over. You might end up with a lot of layers of paint on there, but you can paint over it and you can do it. And I think this, this shows, so this floral arrangement was based on this book. A 
found this book at a garage sale and it's a, a book to show you how to paint florals and so I based it on this image here and I think you can see there's a few extra blossoms in there and it's not 100% accurate it's it's just was a reference and a bouncing off point and I found normally the florals that I put on are completely imaginative I might have a flower in mind because I was stuck I, I used this reference so I could really say okay I know that's already well uh, the composition is good and that will work that will help me to get get this to a good place because I knew compositionally this was this was already working rather than me plumping on blossoms and perhaps perhaps not getting it quite right so so the tips are press on always press on you can do it use references tools that can help support you give yourself time I sat with this for a long while and now that I, I sit with it it's been some time since I've looked at it again and I can see errors so it's not this perfect piece that you know I had to be scared to keep painting um, it, it, it has it has errors uh, but it's still working as a piece I still love it others have given me feedback that it's lovely so um, it, it's still a success even though if I painted it again there'd be changes I would make so it's funny that I thought it was this perfect thing that I couldn't bear to touch anymore because I would, would ruin the whole thing and now with time with pressing on putting more paint on letting it sit having a break from it coming back to it afresh and now I can see oh okay it's it wasn't this big perfect thing to be afraid of um, so yes that's a short little video for you today I hope there's helpful tips in there for you this morning I've been in the studio putting the final touches on this little teacup it's a little bit hard with the reflection of the resin this is other work that I, I produce if you're new here and I'll be putting the resin on this today and then I'll be the plan is to do a video to show you how to finalize the resin dam which was my very first video on, on how to actually build these resin dams to hold the resin on the surface so I'll show you what the end stage of that is in the next video so all of those in lockdown go well stay safe stay strong and I'll see you next time bye